Hello everyone! Um, today I'm deciding to show you how to make zebra cake. Uh, so let's see the ingredients what we need to make a zebra cake. So we need two full cup flour. I got one here and once I add it here I will add more. Milk as needed. We'll add some little milk and then we'll see if we needed more than we'll add. 50 ml or 1 out of 3 cup um, chocolate powder egg uh, 1 cup sugar, of course sugar, we'll uh, measure it later uh, baking powder banana stretch and uh, liquid oil so let's start making the cake here. First I'm going to crack my eggs in this big bowl. So for two cups you can add two eggs as well. But if you wanted to get more spongy cake, so you always can add more uh, eggs on your cake or cookies. But most likely I uh, use lots of egg on my cake. So I add these three eggs on this bowl and I'm gonna add vanilla about half teaspoon vanilla that's how much was left in my bottle here I'll add it here And I will add sugar, so I said one cup, full cup of sugar. So one cup, one full cup sugar, I'll add it down here. And we're going to use the full one cup liquid oil. And I'm going to start mixing all these stuff together. So I, um, as you can see, friends, uh, it is all mixed well together. I'm gonna add my baking powder. So it's gonna be about one full teaspoon. And at this stage, I will add my flour. So I said two cup, full cup, so it's one cup. I'm gonna get another cup. So, plus now I'm gonna add first this is a full cup of milk. I'm gonna have half of it. And later on, if I need it, I will add some more. So especially be careful for the chocolate milk uh, that your mixture is not really waterish. So otherwise you will you won't get a good result. So that's why I, I didn't add the full cup at the beginning. Just add a little bit and mix it, stir it again until I can get a really good butter creamy mixture. So can you see how 
good is this mixture all together so that's how we want it and I think it's a little thick so I'm gonna add a little bit more milk on that one so now I'm gonna add the full cap here because it's gonna be good that's a wonderful mixture for the cake so you can see how shiny it is now after all ingredients are mixed well together and it's so creamy and nice color so at this point I'm going to divide it a little bit of this dough in the another bowl here to mix my chocolate powder with that one So it depends on how um, much you'd like to use your chocolate mixture. So that way you can divide your dough. So this is all good and I'm now adding this chocolate powder which is one of three cup chocolate. It's most likely two full um, tablespoon chocolate powder. Well, together, make sure all the chocolate is mixed with this nice creamy mixture. So, since the chocolate is a little too thick, so I add just a little bit of this match milk. In here to mix it and that's gonna be easier for us when we wanted to mix both in our baking cake tray so I will stir it to mix it well again now it's perfect see I'll stir it a little bit more there we go so that's what I wanted to get perfect so I'm gonna put this aside and we'll grease my uh, cake tray here and grease it with a little bit of oil that we have front of us. However, this um, tray can be open, but still I will recommend you to grease it for easy removal of the cake at the end. And as soon as you start making your mixture, you'd have to um, preheat your oven for 350 Fahrenheit. That is what I did. And my oven is almost ready to go for the cake. So now, now we are going to add a little bit of this mixture at the bottom of our Pan. and at the same time we will add chocolate so of course we will put less chocolate because we have less ingredients of chocolate here Again, we are going to add the white cake mixture. So you can see the white mixture is more than chocolate. And again, we are doing, doing this as a pattern until all ingredients are getting finished. <laughs> 